Yesterday morning, I cooked in my first jambalaya competition. There wasn't a whole lot of teams there. That's one reason they needed me to do it. But I had fun. I learned a lot. And um, let you watch this uh, video about it. One thing I did want to warn you about, I tried to keep my uh, channel family friendly. Uh, I don't use a lot of uh, strong language. don't use strong language and a lot of innuendo or anything. Sometimes I laugh at things sometimes. But um, I don't use, you know, curse words or swear words on my channel much. But you're going to hear a lot of background um noise and people at the competition talking like people normally do and so you'll hear some strong words which is a little out of character for my um, show so i'm just warning you that anyway i had fun cooking uh jambalaya yesterday in a competition so this is what happened and this is how it turned out I'm headed to my uh, first jambalaya cook-off. Uh, this is the first time I've entered a, like a real cooking competition that wasn't a chili cook-off at the church that we cooked chili at home and brought it up there. I won one, by the way. Came in second twice. Um, but this is, I've always wanted to cook jambalaya. Y'all know I like to cook jambalaya on my channel. It's a good way to get into cooking competitions. No, it's not a barbecue competition, but anyway, the story goes, um, this is Saturday. Wednesday evening, a friend of mine, Wesley, from Son of the Preacher Barbecue, he texted me, wound up calling me, and um, said that he was contacted by somebody that's putting on a benefit to help some woman who's got stage four cancer to help raise money. And they've got a, a car show going on at the rodeo arena, and uh, they've got some food trucks and other stuff going on. I don't know if they what all else they got going on, but there's supposed to be a jambalaya cook-off. Anyway, there was three teams that entered, and one of the teams, the guys had to uh, back out because he's got to work at the plant or wherever he works to help repair stuff that was damaged during the freeze we had this past week. It's freezing again this morning, 26 degrees. Got down to about 18 or 19 last night, um, but it didn't stay as long as it did earlier in the week. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a cold day. Now, if you're not from Louisiana, you may not know this, but jambalaya is really a spring and summer food. Gumbo is the fall and winter food. It is seasonal here in Louisiana for the most part. Of course, you can eat it anytime you want to, but normally it's gumbo in the fall and winter in cold weather, and it's jambalaya in warmer weather months. But anyway, this isn't a gumbo cook-off, it's a jambalaya cook-off. And he said, look, they're gonna cancel it. They've only got two teams. And um, I know you make a good jambalaya, Big Lou. And I said, well, yeah, but I've only made jambalaya for like folks at church and the basketball team and the high school band and stuff like that. I'm not, and for fundraisers at concession stands and stuff, never really uh, made jambalaya as, in a competition. So this is my first one. We're gonna see how it goes. Anyway, wish me luck. And um, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All right, well, I got the trinity in there. About to get going good. My meat's already all browned up. Staying warm right there. My chicken, my sausage, and my casso. Number one spot says it's 34 out here. What's the name of y'all team? Look, I'm the Blue Eyes Chef, and this is Smooth Innovations. We cooking in this motherfucker. What, what, what innovations? Smooth Innovations. Smooth Innovations. And they cook a jambalaya right there in that big cauldron. Oh, and, oh keep it shut. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it shut. I don't want to beat you like that. All right, what's y'all's name? Y'all want to be on YouTube? No, it don't matter. All right. It don't matter. I better ask you first. Nah. What's y'all's team's name? Wait. What's your jambalaya cooking team name? Hey, okay. Redneck Cajun Cooker. Redneck Cajun Cooker. That sounds where I fit in. Well, my late wife, she is Cajun. My kids are part Cajun. Me, just redneck. What kind of jambalaya y'all cooking today? It'll be uh, pork, sausage, and deer. How much? Pork, sausage, and deer. Pork, sausage, and deer, jambalaya. What kind of jambalaya y'all cooking? Pork, right now, pork, pork and chicken. Huh? What kind of jambalaya y'all cooking? I got a pork jambalaya, smoked pork shoulder with a sausage and a little bit of everything else in it. Man, that sounds delicious, yeah. It's cold out here, but we're having fun. My first competition. All right, we're at the rodeo arena. It's right there. And truck's over there. Cool cars over there. We'll be showing off some of the cars here a little closer in a little bit. Got food vendors here. Starting to get the color on that Trinity. Won't be long now. This is Lauren and she's making the hot chocolate and selling the hot chocolate. And she's just what car club? Crown level. 
Graham Little Car Club, and she said her boyfriend's in charge of a whole state representative thing for the car shows or whatever. So, what's going on? What y'all doing here? Well, we're here for Miss Angela today. She's having her cancer uh, car show and benefit, and we're trying to raise some money for her. Well, this is inside the arena, and it's still early in the morning, but vendors are starting to set up the arts and crafts and commercial vendors and stuff are starting to set up in here. And we are under the bleachers cooking jambalaya. Yeah, see, we're all cooking jambalaya right there. Under these uh, bleachers and my little setups over there. see how it works out. Uh, might not get to hear any of this. That music's so loud, I don't get to record much of what's going on here. And uh, cooking the jambalaya, I hadn't had time to walk around and look at all the cars, but hopefully I can get to show you some of the cars on video too. So anyway, just keep watching. And um, yeah, there's only three teams here. The other teams know what they're doing. Me, I'm just one guy. My son helps me unload the truck and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm just sitting there cooking jambalaya and enjoying the music and the time and the good food and you know we'll see how it turns out my first competition i thank you for watching Angela right there. Let me able to put you on YouTube, Hi. Angela. How are y'all? You want to tell us about the uh, car show? We couldn't hear over there. It's too much music. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so we're doing a car show at the Covered Arena today. Um, it is a benefit for myself. I am battling stage three ovarian cancer. Um, we have had an amazing turnout. Um, I don't know if you've seen the hamburgers people are walking around with yet, but they look amazing. They're about that thick. So definitely check it, check it out. Check that out. Yes, sir. Because I didn't make enough jambalaya for me to eat for lunch. I'm about to buy <laughs> I can't wait to try them all myself. So <laughs> it's going to be good. We're having fun. Thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you. More cars.
long before metallic. Still, every time I see the gas and fry, top is all. Once you got that pot, yeah. All right, y'all, my jambalaya is ready. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, yeah. Might not win, but sure smells good and looks good. left. Been about an hour or two into the taste test and had no time to make any videos. But anyway, there's supposed to be donations for the cancer relief there and tickets into that red box. So we'll see how many tickets I got. But well, we started serving at 11. It's about 12.35 right now. And like I just said in the thing, don't have much left. And uh, I had a lot of fun. Got a lot of good compliments. But like I said, I'm not a car guy. I'm not into the car club thing. So Maybe don't know what the other folks uh, know, but we'll see what happens. There's some red tickets in my box. I was trying to point the box, but the camera's pointing to me. Well, now it's all gone. And I will tell you, the last two people I gave the last two samples to, they voted for me. I'm not a car guy, but I'm a bicycle guy, and I like that twin stingray with the suicide shifter. That thing is awesome. Brings back childhood memories. Whoo, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I think is the coolest. Right there. I think I'm going to put a suicide shifter on my electro bike. I love it. Love the ape hanger handlebars. That's my favorite part of the whole car show. It's the Swin Stingray. This is Tommy. Tommy, where are you from? Well, I'm from New Orleans originally, so I should know gumbo. Yeah, that was yeah. jambalaya though. Yeah, jambalaya. <laughs> Well, it probably wasn't as good as I thought it was. <laughs> so your jambalaya was excellent. It was, uh, it was the best. And I got it at the end, so there wasn't any meat, but it was still the best. Oops, I dropped the, dropped the phone. It was still the best. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Well, congratulations to Redneck Cajun Cookers. Um, they had a good jambalaya. That deer and salsa jambalaya was really good. And, um, you know, Blue Eye Chef's jambalaya was pretty good, too. Uh, it really was. Uh, so I had some tough competition there. Anyway, um, I came in second place. Now, I want to tell you, uh, like I said, I mean it. Congratulations to them. They did a good job. Um, but maybe I should have made a little bit more jambalaya so I had a little more samples to give out at the end because I did run out. But... Um, 
it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. And at the end of the show, the lady who was selling the hot chocolate, Lauren, uh, she came up to me and told me that uh, I was in second place. And uh, she let me know that. She wanted to let me know that. And uh, so I asked her how close. She said I lost by one vote. They had one more red ticket in their box than I had in mine. So I felt pretty good about that. My first jambalaya competition. Y'all, I love to cook some jambalaya. And I love the fact that you're watching Big Lou Barbecue. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Um, like I said earlier in the video, apologies for the strong language that was in it, but that's the way people talk and we're at the thing. That's the way people were communicating, you know? And um, I want you to ask you, pray for Angela, all right? I got to meet her, real nice lady. She's got that stage four cancer. And uh, that was all a benefit to help her with her medical bills. and and you know, fight this cancer thing. So pray for her. And then thank you for watching Big Lou Barbecue. <laughs>